What's going on, y'all? Thanks for checking in the Cali's Take. You know what to do. Hit that like, subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell just so you can get the newest and the bonus content first. But hey, let's just go ahead and jump right in. The way the Clippers are now, I would say they're definitely built for a championship. With the roster that they have, the talent and the pieces on there, it's no doubt that they're built for a championship. But, you know, sometimes you got to look to the future as well in an organization and see what you have and make way for that, too. And to me, the future of this team, or at least one of the players as a future, you know, um, prospect for this team to me is Brandon Boston Jr., because this young guy right here, to me, has a lot of dynamic to him and he has a lot of, you know, box office highlights to him to me. I, I could see his game elevating to a point where he can be, you know, a star in this league if he is ever given the opportunity. And, you know, thankfully, you know, with Kawhi and PG being out for the little time that they were or the time that they were, you know, he had a time or at least a little bit of shine to show that he has some superstardom or some star power in him. You know, the times that he did start this past season and the times he was actually on the floor. And I feel like the Clippers really like his upside. They really like what he what he brings. He's a versatile 6'5 guard. I mean, he can turn into a, you know, possibly like a, a Kevin Durant type player. You know, he can shoot a little bit. He can pass a little bit. You know, he's got a little bit of uh, spice to his game. You know what I'm saying? He's just uh, he, he's a very good young player. And I, mean, I can't even still believe that when I watched his game, I was wild by his game and see how he plays. I can't believe he was the 51st pick. And I, I just you know, it's just hard for me to believe like in the second round, I just can't see, you know, him going down that low with the talent that he has. But I mean, you know, the Clippers really found a diamond in the rough with this kid. And I feel like, you know, um, they need to find a way to implement him even in this upcoming season with Kawhi and PG back, because I think he can, you know, um, gain a little bit more wisdom and get a lot better. And like I said, that could be an extra added weapon that they have and they can, they can utilize in the playoffs, possibly, you know, throw him in there, you know, maybe eight minutes minutes something like that 10 minutes in the playoffs see how he does you know what well, once he gets more footing under him in the regular season hopefully I think Ty Lu will definitely implement him some in the um you know during the regular season next year because I mean he definitely could be another valuable secret weapon type piece that they have because he's versatile and he can have big games we saw him have that big 27 28 point game and um you know a lot of people were impressed by him in last year's uh, summer league as well so I mean with him you know, this last season, logging in about 15 minutes per game, the games that he played, he did give him, he did give the Clippers 6.7 points a game, which is not the best, but I mean, just not really looking at the numbers. Um, you could just see a lot of his talent, you know what I'm saying? Um, he can definitely become a very versatile player and the way he plays, I can definitely see him, you know, being a star player, possibly if given the opportunity and, you know, really, really flourishing. I mean, he might be one of those players who can average a triple double almost. I mean, because he can pass, he can shoot. And like I said, he, he can get to the rim. You know, he got a decent handle. It's not the best, but I mean, it's decent. And like I said, I just can't really see how he went 51st pick I mean I think the it was definitely a diamond in the rough for the Clippers and I think that they really you know uh, took advantage of you know the opportunity by you know playing him and putting him out there and he had like I said a few good games you know big games for the Clippers you know and actually helped out and actually was a part of you know the the season that they had without Kawhi and PG and they made it to the playing tournament without that type of superstar help and he was a part of the reason why along with other players too that I think they should definitely definitely implement is like commit like like Amir Coffee. Um, you know, they got some other player, they got some good, you know, some real good in him. They saw some good talent in him, you know, and uh, I'd say Luke Kennard really, you know, stepped up off the bench, you know, this year, uh, or should this past year for the Clippers and really showed himself too. So you know, they got some nice young pieces there. And like I said, the Clippers really got, you know, some pieces that I feel that are that has more experience than a lot of other young pieces on other teams, simply because Kawhi and PG was hurt. So in some type of crazy theory, theory 
Kawhi and PG being out was kind of like a blessing for the Clippers because they got a chance to see what they really had on their bench. They had a chance to see what their young players are like. They had a chance to see what type of talent they had. And they had a chance to really see, you know, what their flaws are and what their good strong points are. And this is something that most head coaches would dream to, you know, dream to see. But in a lot of instances, coaches really don't get a chance to see everything that's going on with the player and how they will play because they never get put into opportunities because, you know, you got so much superstar stardom on a team sometime sometime you don't realize what you have sitting on the bench that could really be a valuable asset in regards to your championship aspirations and I'm not saying Brandon Boston could help them win a championship or anything like that but I just feel like you know he's he could be one of those pieces that they can cherish and really flourish at the same time I mean, if you look at that actually that breakout game I was talking about it was a 27 point game against the Boston Celtics and if you saw the way he was playing you could see a lot of his talent in that one game especially because and you don't want to make too much off one game but it's been multiple games this season where I've seen him come in and just make an impact and you know do some really good things but he has some feistiness about him he has some aggression I mean if you looked at that game against Boston where he scored the 27 points I mean he was going at defenders I mean he wasn't scared of Jason Tatum Jalen Brown he was going at everybody like he was used to doing this like he does this all the time like he's been in the NBA for years you see what I'm saying with his length and him being a shooting guard like that I mean actually I said Kevin Durant earlier he could be like almost like a Jason Tatum you know what I'm saying he could be like that a long lengthy guard who could shoot handle the ball pass the ball get to the rim how he needs to got a decent handle you know for his size and you know he can move pretty well as he can move pretty good as well I mean he's not the slowest player he's got some speed to him as well so you know maybe gain a little bit more weight get add a few pounds a little bit more muscle and um you know tone up a little bit more I mean the Clippers got them a really really solid player and like I said he could be more than a solid player He could be actually a star player, you know, so, you know, I would like to see more from him. I would like to see, you know, the Clippers give him more um, opportunities. I mean, if he averaged 14 minutes last year, I'd like to see it, you know, stay somewhere around the same this this uh, this upcoming year, I would say. And I'd like to see more from him as well, because I think he's only going to flourish more in that offense. And then you got to think he's learning watching Kawhi and PG and those type players and Reggie Jackson and those guys in there he's learning from you know some of the best in the business so I mean it's like you know he he can definitely really turn into a player that they can really utilize next year and as one of their secret weapons because like I said if he can come in a game and drop 27 like that on a Boston team you know with Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown and those type guys even though they weren't playing their best basketball then but they still are you know NBA you know star players and he goes out there and shows out and be the best player on the floor for that one night. Well, that tells you what type of talent he has. And that tells you they got a diamond in the rough in him out of, out of the draft and, and as the 51st pick going in the second round. So, I mean, when you look at that and what he can bring to this team, I mean, he could bring a different dynamic to them. And that's exactly, you know, what they need, because who knows whether they'll have Reggie Jackson going forward in the next few years or something like that. Reggie Jackson, hopefully he'll be there. But in the next few years from now, he might not be there so now you got a young up and coming shooting guard like that who has no fear who's fearless who goes out there and play with that type of confidence the way he did I mean I think he shocked a lot of people and wowed a lot of people as well so you know the Clippers they definitely need to invest in this young kid I said it last year I'm saying it this year and I'll say it next year and the year after they definitely need to invest in him because he can definitely be you know a future star for them and really really flourish into being like you know maybe even more than that you know, if he's put in the right situation. And I'll say this, you know, with Ty Lue being his head coach, he definitely has the right situation. He just has to take advantage of it and they have to just give him the opportunity to take advantage of it. So with that being said, I definitely want to see more from Brandon Boston next year. I would like to see him get some minutes. I'd like to see him get in there and get his foot his feet more wet in regards to you know you know getting getting his uh footing down pack and learning the game more being around Kawhi and PG hopefully everybody stays healthy so he can really see how the process is and know what it's like to play with those type of players and know what Kawhi and them expect out of him and learn to be the type of player they need him to be because like I said having a a versatile uh young guy like that who has a fearless mindset you know to me 
actually, he's more talented than Terrence Mann. If you ask me, if you go by talent wise, he's more talented than he is. So, I mean, if a lot of people think Terrence Mann could be a star, well, Brandon Boston Jr. can definitely be a star because he's definitely got more talent than Terrence Mann. I, I don't think he's a better player than Terrence Mann, of course, all around. But talent wise, I think he's got more talent. So, I mean, hey, like I said, they got some good young pieces. And, um, you know, with the veteran pieces they have and the superstar they have in Kawhi, you know, along with the um, second star in PG, I mean, this team could really do like some, they could be really, really scary next year. I mean, they can literally be the number one seed next year. And honestly, I kind of expect them to be, you know, even all the way down to their young core, they got talent. So, and they're just widely ranged with depth. And Brandon Boston is a part of that. And I hope that um, they continue to build on what they have and continue to build with him and allow him to flourish in the, um, their culture and let him be, you know, possibly one day the star player that I can, you know, see him being. But hey, that's my take on everything. You leave any comments in the comment section. Check out the other videos. As always, Cali out.